This is Suzanne Wagner and I'm doing my personal quote and blog for the 31st of October 2022. My quote for today. The crescent moon makes the night spooky. Creatures are running around making sounds that are kooky. Ghosts swirl like mist into the darkening light. Everyone is excited to have a good fright. We are in the time of Halloween. We have permission to snarl and scream. Let the monster in you out for a spin. Give voice to your ghoulish twin. Remember to embrace all that you are. That is the fuel that will take you very far. And my blog for today is actually the astrology for November 2022. The new moon solar eclipse in, in Scorpio and the Mars retrograde at the end of October sets the stage for the darkening light of November. If things feel a bit sticky, you are not mistaken. Much will be asked of us this month that will require us to be strong inside. There will be wide ranges of extreme emotions playing out all month. Know that some will not accept what is unfolding. Know that others will intentionally try to drag things down and slow all progression forward. The fox is in the hen house and determined to feast. Demons are loose, turning men into beasts. This month, many will feel as if the vulnerabilities within have become exposed. Some may see how their fears have turned souls into monsters. All these things contribute to the tight conjunctions with Venus, so know that our values will be tested. While we all seek harmony, we must first start in our own homes. If we are not at peace with ourselves, then we are not much help to a world that seems bent on spinning out of control. Circumstances support us in really seeing others instead of just our own selfish needs. Mars in retrograde till January 12, 2023 will make us feel huge internal pressure. Some may experience that pressure so strong that they blow. And that can cause bigger external problems in the world. Expect those that cannot accept things to take matters into their own hands. The stresses can become so extreme that those not coping well with the world's situations may begin to make a choice. And some of them may make that choice to leave the planet. Those with lung problems need to be especially careful this month. Just to keep things interesting, there is a lunar eclipse on Election Day, November 8, 2022. This month, our balance seems off. External things seem to block what we want and need. The ground seems unstable. Expect big events with weather or through even pers larger personal situations. We can become emotionally overloaded as too many truths get revealed and cause a pivot. Jupiter will go direct on November 23rd and the chaos from the beginning of November will begin to settle down. Towards the end of the month, dramas seem to be in better focus and it builds up our faith and belief in our potential and the potential of our world. This can help our mood lighten and our minds feel clearer. Also on the same day, there is a new moon in Sagittarius. Our goals seem to have the potential for success and we see things from a broader perspective and the reality seems brighter. Let's take each step at a time. November 5th, Venus, Opposition, Uranus. Drama is the name of the game. Relationships are mm, intense and connections are powerfully delightful in ways. Expect the unexpected, just when you don't want to deal with one more thing. Uranus intends to cause the game of let's see who blinks first. Know that treachery is afoot. There are forces intentionally manipulating things on a financial level. November 8th, the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus. Well, first of all, any astrologer with a shred of decency and sense would not even try to predict the outcome of this particular election. There are so many juxtaposing, powerfully pulling positions. It's going to get really interesting to see which way this goes. So emotional and financial stability is what many are after. But this day, neither seems to give us what we want. Eclipses are trying to help us see where we are in the dark about something or a lot of things. The moon rules the public. 
and I expect them to become unruly, angry, and wanting to pick a fight, Uranus. The differences between the people's choices and those protecting their Washington political pockets will be revealed. It will show that while the people want change, some in political positions of power are not ready for rapid changes, and there might be some people in the public that think things have been moving too quickly. Roe versus Wade, the protective health care and, and protecting health care will be the obvious concerns of the public. Don't worry, many things will shift in 2024. At that time, nothing will stop it. But right here, right now, there's a lot of tugging and pulling. Also on November 8th, Mercury conjunct Scorpio. Secrets continue to come out of the darkness and into the light. Lies flow from the honest faces of automatons that cannot see their own victimization as they are used as pawns for master manipulators. Expect verbal and mental confusion to bombard your senses from too many angles. There will be those that jump to conclusions and make poor choices that will cause great suffering. Don't believe the rhetoric. Clear answers will come very slowly. November 15th. Venus in Sagittarius. The magic that is revealed comes from the realizations that arise from the emotional encounters that most are feeling. Expect bold and brash statements that are false and flagrant. Extremes are escalating energy into dangerous places. A fire is burning and it intends to take some with them. November 17th, Mercury in Sagittarius. Watch out for a flood of texts, emails, and social media exploding with propaganda and intentional distortion. Check the facts. Don't fall for biting of the hooks that are in our faces. Keep a broader view of things. Looking only at details is intentionally misleading and inflammatory. Be humble and sparing with your words. November 20th, Vesta goes into Pisces. Vesta protects the home and hearth. It shows our dedicated feelings for family and how we want to protect and defend family at all costs. We are learning to keep going and to hold the sacred flame within our heart in a place where others cannot diminish its power and purpose. If you let yourself grow, you will discover beautiful things arising by the spring. November 22nd, Sun in Sagittarius. We enter into the season of gratitude and family a welcome relief from all the insanity that has been unleashed this month. The Sun and Sagittari in Sagittarius helps us to adapt and find new ways to change. We look at the purpose that is calling us and attempt to brace, embrace this larger picture. No matter what, have faith in yourself and make a decision to stop waiting on the world to offer a helping hand. We are all going to have to get out of our armchairs and instead walk away from the numbing comfort of our past and embrace the uncertainty that is making our skin crawl. It is time to move, get active, and take a stand. November 23rd, New Moon in Sagittarius. We are asked to take a look at our world with unveiled and different eyes. Embrace the gifts offered and stay open to your ability to find a path through the dark days ahead. Believe in yourself and regardless of the challenges of your path, you will succeed. November 30th, retrograde Palis goes into Cancer. Palis is the artist. She is the creative muse within that understands justice and what is right. Those that cannot protect justice or do the right thing are completely out of touch with her deep empathy and creative approach to problem solving. Empathy is not a weakness. It is a precious strength that is sensitive enough that it can see the current collective consciousness as a form of mass hysteria, especially when the common people move their awareness through their emotional filters and lose their ability to apply common sense to a situation. Remember that those that have trouble comprehending complex issues will lean into and activate the most drama and mayhem. Listen to that deeper voice that understands right from wrong there is within each of us a part that knows that when some make choices that harm others, those souls are not awake or aware enough to be trusted with anything. Okay, I expect the rhetoric to get crazy, nasty, intentionally deceptive, and overtly passive aggressive for this upcoming election and way into the month of November. 
Those who intend to misconstrue will imitate plans, sorry, initiate plans to conflate the masses. Keep a cool head. If you know you are being used as a pawn or potentially a weapon, then you are ahead of the game. Be smarter than the egos that want to control the people through the creation of malice and mayhem. Give such souls nothing that they can hook into to pull you away, pull you the way they want. You have a choice. Regardless of external situations, you are not a victim unless you allow the distorted voices to keep you unconscious, ignorant, and passive. This will be an interesting month. Those that cannot see the complexity of this month's astrology will make an adamant and will make adamant and certain proclamations that will not be based on any reality or truthful understanding. There are angelic forces at work to shift our awareness. How things will unfold will be perfect for our next lessons to inspire a better world. Don't worry. This is this is what is going it is going to take to shift us to that next level of clarity. And remember, the bigger moment is in 2024. Thanks, everyone.